What's up everybody? Welcome back to Trading Wars. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're doing how to trade spy for a living part three. So let's strap in the seat belts and let's get down to business. First and foremost, let me know where you are tuning in from tonight. Let me throw you up on the screen. We have an excellent lesson prepared today on risk management and trading psychology, position sizing, all of the mathematical and psychological things you need to have in place in order to actually be profitable. So we're going to go into a lot of detail. I know a lot of people have been requesting this and I'm very, very happy to have you guys today. I'm very grateful to have you guys here. So I'm just going to tweet right now, live now, come to learn how to double account with SPY. Let's, let's see if we can get some people out there. Boom. All right. <clears throat> so can we get a trading wars army member, uh, um, shout out in here. So can I get a trading wars army, trading wars spy, trading war VIP from the squad? And let's welcome our brother right here, Roger Cardoza. Welcome to the trading wars army, brother. Let's go ahead and send him a trading wars VIP, guys. All right. So what do, who do we have today? So we have Sharky from uh, Brady, Brady from Minnesota. What's going on, brother? Sintrade from New York. What's going on? Russ Man Jones from North Augusta. What's going on? Todd from San Francisco. Penny from Pacific Northwest. John from Minneapolis. Double D, my brother from Patterson, New Jersey. What's going on, brother? Um, Joe from Fairfax. Double D with the Trading Wars Army, Spy, and VIP. That's how we do it. Ben from Tennessee. What's up, brother? Elaine from Red Bank. Welcome back. Good to see you. Melly with the Trading Wars support. Karachi Killer, Florida. And one more, one more. Who do we got? Who do we got? Shout out to brother right here. Roger Cardoza, Breckenridge, Colorado. I believe that is. All right. So have an awesome lesson prepared for you guys today. Without further ado, let's get started. So risk management is trading. Very simply. Okay. Um, in trading... It doesn't matter what your strategy is, guys. You could be trading Bollinger Bands, VWAP, um, double bottom, double top, flags, Bollinger, um, inside bars, outside bars. It doesn't matter. In trading, everything works in trading, but just not all the time. That's very important. So you will have systems in trading that have winning streaks and losing streaks. So in certain market conditions, so for example, like if you look at SPY, right, we could see that if we go to the daily chart here, you could see SPY is in an uptrend, right? So there's going to be certain strategies that work better for uptrend trading. There's going to be certain strategies that work better for consolidation. There's going to be certain strategies that work better for shorting and downtrends. So every single strategy will not win 100% of the time. That is the big big factor of trading. So what we need to do as traders is we need to manage our risk. That's how we're going to make money as traders. So when I say manage our risk, what it means is for every dollar you risk, you want to be making between a dollar to two dollars in profit. Okay. So for every one dollar that you risk, you want to be making between one to two dollars in profit. And the reason why is because if you are risking a dollar, but you're only making 50 cents on your trades, if you're risking $100, only making 50, if you're risking $1,000, only making 500, then your risk reward is inverted. And in order for you to actually make money, you're going to need to have a very, very high win rate, which is impossible in trading over time. And what I have here, guys, is I have my book. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to go to the risk management section. Okay so that we can look at this together and I can show you the table. So this is the drill down book, guys. As well as in my Fibonacci book, I have the um, risk management table. Okay? So this table, I want you guys all, whether you have the book or not, I want you to take a screenshot of this, copy it, paste it, whatever you got to do. Okay? And... <laughs> And now we're going to look at the risk reward factor. So we're going to stick right around this number here, number two. So risk to reward 
two to one. So this means if you risk a dollar, you make two dollars. If you risk a hundred dollars, you make two hundred dollars. So what this means is your average gain is double of your average loser. So when you win, you win double of what you lose. If you can win on average double of your losers, then you only need to win 34 out of 100 trades to make a profit, 34%. Okay. So we can clearly see, right, as we increase the risk to reward, we need to win less and less and less often. So that is a very important factor, guys, because in trading, your win rate maximum could be 60, 70% over hundreds of trades, maximum. Usually, all trading systems really boil down to 50-50. All trading systems usually become a coin toss over time. I'm not talking about yesterday. I'm not talking about last week. I'm talking about over 100, 2, 3, 4, 500 trades. And I've done all of those trades. So that's what I'm telling you. So as an example, when I first started trading, I thought <clears throat> I thought like double bottom, double top was the best pattern. And for some weeks, it would be really, really good. Like I'll be making a lot of money. Everything seems good. And then some weeks, all of a sudden, those double bottoms and double tops are breaking out. And then now they're not as effective. But that's irrelevant as long as you have proper risk management, right? So what I want to ask you guys here is let's just do a quick poll in the chat. So give me a number between one to four. Where is your risk to reward? Okay. And if it's below one, that's fine as well. So just give me a number. Where do you think? You need to know this number in your head. So when I, when you're, if you want to trade and you want to make money, you need to be able to tell me straight up, Okay, Rich, I take trades and on average, I make double my losers or I, or I go for one to one. So on average, I win 500, but I also lose 500, but my win rate is very high. So I still make money. You need to know these numbers. If you don't know these numbers, you're not going to make money. So my risk to reward ratio is somewhere in between here for day trades, somewhere in between here. Okay, so I try to keep right between 1.5 and 2. And my swing trades are actually a little bit more on the larger end, between two to three, three to four, um, especially when I look at options and things like that. All right, so I see you guys. I see, yep, so I see a bunch of different ones, so that's good. Um, you just have to know, depending on the strategy that you're trading, it's going to favor certain types of risk to reward. So as an example, let's look at an inside bar. So let me go off topic a little bit, but let's go as an inside bar. So these were, this is, this is an example, right? So this is Friday on S and P 500, the spy. Okay. So this was one of the, the trades that were called out in my bot in the room. It's an inside bar at the bottom of the range. This was the low of the day went for a big banger. So let's talk about the risk reward on this. <clears throat> so remember when you have a bigger bar, like let's say this outside bar, it's going to be a little bit harder to get good risk to reward because the bar is so big. But when the bars are small and you're right, you usually get a great risk to reward. So let's go ahead here and let's say we take this bar long on the break of the high and we put the stop loss at the low. So right here, guys, if we hold it to the end of the day, just hypothetically at the close, this is 7.5 times your money. Okay. So if we go back to the table, this is way off of the table. So if you do this trade, maybe, you, if you do if you do this trade and you get 7.5, you could lose the next seven trades and still make money. Okay? So I like trading inside bars and I like trading my patterns like Holy Grail, like the Nirvana, like this one in blue. I like, tr and the Holy Grail is the one in yellow. I like trading my patterns because they always ensure that I get good risk to reward. So I built my systems knowing that I need to be able to get good risk to reward in order for them to make money. Okay, so let me uh, open up another tab here. Let's go to Netflix. Let me show you an example. So this is one of my swing trades. This is probably the, the most profitable swing trade I had this year <clears throat> was taking this holy grail pattern on Netflix down here. So I took this one right here on Netflix back in August, and I made like $25,000 on this one. But just look at this, guys. So I'm taking this inside bar here, guys, like this. My stop loss is here, and I was able to sell somewhere around here. So that's nine times my money. Okay, so roughly nine times. So nine times, guys, right around here, I didn't get it at the, at, the, at the absolute top, okay? So if I lose the next nine trades, I break even. That's the, what I'm trying to teach you guys. But do you see 
those inside bars, you see like how they're so small, it gives you a good risk to reward. Now, let's say I'm buying breakouts. So this is where a lot of traders fail is if they buy a breakout. So now I'm getting in here. So let me show you guys an example, okay? So we could say that Netflix was like this, okay? So let's hit the replay and go back in time. <coughs> so here was the resistance on Netflix. I got in here looking for it to break out and we can see obviously it does break out, right? But if you get in late in the game, okay? So as an example, some people are gonna wait until this bar closes above all the resistance. So now all of a sudden, instead of getting in here, they're in up here, right? And now their stop loss is down here. And at the very best case scenario, guys, they walk away with about two times their money. You see that? So now there's, if you're in my shoes down here, I've already made nine times. So I could lose the next nine trades. But this person, if they make another mistake, they're back to break even. Okay? So you guys understand that? Hit me with a one if you understand that. So that's why risk management is very, very important. Because in trading, you got to remember this. It's not about being right. Because nobody is right 100% of the time. Nobody. It doesn't matter how smart you are. Because the market has uncertainty, unpredictability. We have news. We have market manipulation. We have everything. So there's no way you can be 100% accurate. But you better make sure that when you are right, you have to get paid. When you're right, you don't know when you're going to be right. But when you are, you have to make money. You have to let it go and make at least one and a half, one times, two times what you risk. And I'm going to ask you, I'm going to turn this over to you now. <clears throat> All right, guys. So how many of you, honest question, have this problem? When you take a trade, as soon as it goes into profit a little bit, you cancel the trade. Because you're just like, you're emotional and you can't handle it. Okay. How many, how many of you, as soon as the, the, the trade goes into profit, you close the trade, but when it's going against you, you don't, you don't have a stop loss. You let it come back down and then you start averaging down. You do, you do, you do really dumb things. Now, all of a sudden, what does that mean? It means that you're losing more than you win. So if you play that game, you will lose money no matter what. Period. So what I do, guys, systematic trading. Always systematic trading. So what it means is like, if you look at my spreadsheets, guys, or my trades, um, everything has a system. So if I'm doing an automated trade, if I'm doing an automated trade, then... I'm not going to I'm not going to start scaling out on, on until I start getting to targets. I won't. I won't touch it because I already have a stop loss to protect me there. Okay? So that's the difference. I see a lot of you guys say that that's a problem and it was a problem for me too, so that's why I'm bringing this up. You need to have a written system on how you're going to manage your trade. So for example, right? Let's just let's just come up with something together. So let's say inside bar. Okay. So you can have a rule with the inside bar like like this one right here that you're not going to take profits until it gets to one to one. You're going to take 50% profit and then you're going to put the stop loss to break even on the remainder of the position. Okay. That's one way. There are many different ways. And it and it, and it comes down to the person. Right. For options, I see some members saying, how does risk to reward work with options? It's a good question, brother. Trading Wars Army member. What I do for options is I usually go full risk and options. I go full risk. So I already know in my head I'm risking 100 percent of my premium. But when I'm right, I can make two, three, four, five, six, seven times, especially on swing trades. When I'm scalping and day trading, I know I'm risking about 25% to 50% of the option premium when I'm, when I'm day trading. That's my, my risk. So I need to be getting those numbers. That's why I say in my tweets, scale out when above 25% because you're at least risking 25%. You understand what I'm saying, guys? Right? So let's go back to Netflix. So as an example here, Netflix, right? So this inside bar, I put in 
<clears throat> I think I put in five grand on this inside bar. So I was willing to let that come down to zero. Okay, I think I put three grand, sorry, three grand. I was waiting, I was willing for that to come down to zero. I have a video on YouTube, I can't remember the numbers. But when I'm right, so like you could see here, when it broke out, I made about 25K, right? So now I risk 3K to make 25K. So I'm, what am I, like six, seven, about eight times my money, okay? So that's how you can manage it with options, all right, guys? All right, so that's risk management. Here's a table, okay? Make sure you guys have this, all right? It's in all of my books. Now, let's look at some coin flips scenarios. So when you look at this, guys, remember this. This is trading. It's not JLo's bottom. It's not VWAP or FediWAP. It's this. Remember this. This is the most important lesson of today. Always evaluate your trades, ideally over 100 trades. Always evaluate your system over 100 trades. That gives you enough time to let the winners and the losers play out. Okay? So literally here, guys, I'm on a random generator I found on the internet. I'm going to toss a coin, okay? So let's say heads. Heads is a win for us and tails is a lose, okay? Is a, is a loser. So when we hit heads, let's say we make 200 bucks, and when we hit tails, we lose 100. So let's see how this goes, okay? Boom. Jonathan, what's going on, brother? 499. Risk management, position sizing are the two most critical aspects of profitable trading. Very, very true. All right. So here we go. Let's toss it. Okay. So we're simulating. Wait, let me refresh it. My bad. I already tossed it one time. So let's toss it again. So let this thing do its thing. <clears throat> so let's let this play out. Is it lagging? Okay. It's going. Okay. So it's generating. Okay. So, um, so while this is working out here, guys, wait, what's going on? It's just stopping at 30 now. All right, so let me just get this uh, to 100. So I'm going to let this run. So right now we're at 12, 12 heads and 33 tails. So that looks pretty bad, right? It looks pretty bad. So let's keep it going. Keep it going. This is trading, guys. This is literally what it is because nobody knows. If somebody knew, they wouldn't be, they wouldn't be trading. They would be multimillionaire billionaires, guys. They'd be predict the future. All right. So let's see, man. Let's see where this goes. This doesn't look too good. <coughs> heads ain't heads ain't doing ain't doing well. Oh, I have numbers of toss on 15. That's why. My bad. Oh shit, man. Okay, hold on. Let me just let me just fix this, guys. I'm gonna refresh it. Sorry. I had it on 15. There we go. My bad. Anyways, so now it's going. So let's see. And let's do the math. So in this case, we had 60 heads and 40 tails. So let's say, we let's just keep it simple. When we win, we win $2. When we lose, we lose $1. So in this case, we had $120 in profits minus $40 in losers. We walk away with 80 bucks. Now let's toss it again. Okay, wait, now I got to refresh it every time. Let's toss it again. So that's that's one. So we won on that one. That was nice. Okay, I got to put it to 100 every single time. Okay, let's toss again. Let's see what we get this time. The only difference between trading and gambling is two things. In trading, you have a better percentage win rate, usually, than gambling. And... You, if you have a good system, your risk to reward is going to be positive, which is important. Now, here's another one. So this one, we actually had 55 losers and 45 winners. Okay. So 45 times two is 90 minus 55. What is that? 35. Okay. So $35 in profit there. You guys want to do it one more time? Okay. We'll do it one more time. All right. I'm trying to prove a point here, guys. This is what it is. You see how it's changing each time. It's changing each time, guys. Right, this is exactly what trading is. Okay, this one is 41, right? 
So we know if we have a two to one risk to reward, as, as long as we stay above 34, 34 is the magic number. As long as we stay above 34, we make some profit. Okay. So there you go, guys. So that's, that's like what trading is because let me just show you, let me show you my website here. Check this out. These are all my trades, my swing trades for the year. Look at this. Some months like this one, they're tough. Okay. And then some months are like almost perfect. So this is what it is. That's exactly what it is. And that's why I want to teach you guys what you need to do is detach yourself from trading, detach yourself from making money. You have to always remember you're flipping a coin. What your job here now is make sure when you get heads, you make double or close to double your money. Okay. And now I want to take this into a trading scenario and I want to go into a lot of detail on it and show you other ways. Okay. I want to show you other ways that you can go ahead and make your risk to reward better. All right. But before that, Hit me with a one if you're enjoying the stream, you're feeling good. Hit me with the Trading Armies, uh, Trading Wars Army for my Trading Wars members. And let's get right into this. And we're going to try to take some examples. I'm going to show you guys how you can really tweak your risk reward. Because remember, you can work on making your winners bigger. But what about this? What about making your losers smaller? Did anybody consider that? We can work on making our winners bigger, but we can also work on making our losers smaller. Very important. All right. So I went through this with you guys uh, on a stream we did called, I can't remember what it was, like trailing stop losses or something like that. But anyways, so <clears throat> this is Friday. So one of the trades we took was a short. So we had this outside bar, which was a short, took us down to the gap fill, which was over here, which was good money. So I'm going to show you now how you can use Fibonacci, which one of the tools that I use, one of the tools I wrote about in my book. I'm going to show you how to use Fibonacci to help use a tr help your trailing stop loss. Okay. Boom. Yasniel Cordero. What's going on, my brother? Welcome to the Trading Wars Army. Can we hit him with a? Uh, can we hit Yasniel with a Trading Wars VIP to welcome him to the gang? Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Okay. So what we're gonna do here, guys? So this is an example, right? So we go ahead here, guys, and we take this outside bar and it breaks to the low. So now you might be saying, "All right, what do I do with my stop loss?" Right. So normally your stop loss would be on the other side of the candle. We have some more advanced stop loss methods. I'm not going to talk about it here because it's going to take another stream. But let's just say the simplest approach, you put your stop loss on the other side of the candle. So you're going to say, okay, well, how can I manage this trade? So let's say you short here, stop loss here. All right. So on the first push down, you get to one times your risk. Okay. On the first push down. Right. So on the first push down, you get one times your risk. So... What you could do is take a partial, at least 25 to 50% of your position. You're going to take it off at one to one. Now, what you're going to do, guys, is you're going to take a Fibonacci and you're going to take it from the high to the low of that move. And now your stop loss was initially here. You're going to take your stop loss and you're going to pull it down to the 786. All right. So this is a trailing stop loss mechanism. So now, guys, worst case scenario, if it comes back up, it's only going to tag this which is only about halfway to your stop loss. So if you're risking 100 bucks and you pull it down here, you're only going to be losing 50 bucks. Right? So that's a way. So now, okay, now the next target, let's say it's 1.5. Okay, so let me just put this back here. So your next target is 1.5. So we get down here now to 1.5. You take another 50% uh, or 25% and you leave a runner on, okay? <clears throat> and then... um. Now, what you're going to do is you can take your stop loss, okay, and you can do the same thing. So you can take your stop loss now, and you're going to move this fib from this high to this low right here, okay? And now your stop loss was all the way up here, okay? Now, the very least, you can get your stop loss to break even at the very least. But what you want to do there is you actually want to have a trailing profit. So now your trailing profit will be here on this 786. And then I'm going to show you something else. 
So now the other thing that we do, guys, is when we start coming into these Fibonacci targets, you can see here, 272, 0.169, 0.1. When we start coming into the targets, what I like to do is trail the candle bars, the highs of the candle. So initially, our entry was here. Our stop loss was here. But when we start coming into these targets, guys, we're going to use these big body bars. You see these big red bars? These big red bars because we're short. We're going to put a stop loss now above this big red bar here. So eventually, we get taken out over here, guys. But we managed this trade all the way down. What did we do? We moved the stop loss. We took profit. So now all of a sudden, if we follow a methodology like this, our risk to reward is going to be really high because we're not really losing $100 on a trade anymore because we are actually using trailing stop losses and scaling out at different targets. Hit me with a one if you understand that. And that, guys, that's how you, that's how you go from an average trader to a great trader is having systematic ways for you to m minimize the risk on a trade. So systematically, as you come to targets, scale out. Systematically, as we continue to go in profit, start pulling your stop loss down little by little. The safest way is the Fibonacci because it's very wide. Okay, And then when you want to be aggressive with your stop loss, you start putting it above the big bars. Okay, Because if a big bar breaks, like look at this big bar down here. Once this big bar broke, the, reverse was, the reversal was confirmed for the bulls and we pushed up. So that's why I use the big bars. Because if this was going to go lower, this big bar should not break. Beautiful, guys. Okay? So, so where are we at? So we're at 27 minutes. That's pretty much what I wanted to talk about, about um, risk management. When I trade, guys, like when I'm in the Discord here, I'm going to show you. When I'm in the Discord with members in the spy room, I talk about, I talk, I talk through how I do this. So, for example, if we go to the spy setups alerts, you'll see certain points when I say go to break even, right? So I try to give some management on the trades um, where I can. Sometimes we have to have a little bit of a wider stop loss, right? Because we can't, we can't get to break even, but in some cases we can't. So like this is an example. I'm going to go through it here. This was on December 9th. And you can see we took a double inside bar here, blah, blah, blah. Then once we start scaling out, see, this is what I'm doing in real time. One-to-one -one scale out. Decent winner, guys. But I would love to see the bears break the low. Need follow through, scale out more. Remainder of position must be at break even now. Great push down 1.5 times, leaving just a runner on here. So that's what I'm saying, guys. Stuff like that. I try to give live commentary to help guide members. Like, Trailing stop losses and targets is always going to be a personal preference because you have to know if you want to play for a home run or if you want to be a scalper. So I try to give my commentary on what I'm doing to help guide people. Um, but at the end of the day, you got to find your preference because both of them have pros and cons. A scalper sometimes will never get a big winner, but they'll be consistent. And and a, and a, a home run trader might only get one big winner for the week and that might pay for everything. You see what I'm saying? So it depends on where you, where you are. So back to what I was saying here. So you want to achieve at least one-to-one -one on your risk to reward. At least you want to try to get close to two-to-one. Position sizing is another topic now. So just in general, guys, uh, a good rule of thumb is you want to only risk one to 2% of your capital per, per trade. Very simple rule of thumb. I've learned it from working in the industry for many years. It's how you protect your capital from blowing up. So if you're going to take a trade and you have 10K, you don't want to risk more than one, $100 to $200 per trade. So if you're buying shares, if you're doing futures, if you're taking options, you really don't want to be losing more than 200 Because if you do and you lose consec consecutively, you can draw, you can have a drawdown on your account, you can blow up your account. So that's a very good rule of thumb. As you, as you get further and further along the journey, then you can increase your risk to 5%. Even 10% sometimes, but that you start to get into real high risk territory. So I really recommend people to stick to one to two percent. Um, so in trading, you're always gonna have win win and losing streaks, okay? Win streaks and losing streaks, always and drawdowns. Um, the most that I've seen is five to ten each way. So I've seen 10 winners in a row, 10 losers in a row. When you trade long enough, you will see everything. Okay, you will see everything. 
you're gonna see 10 winners in a row, 10 losers in a row, and you're gonna be like, wait, what's what's happening? I thought I thought the inside bar was the best. I thought opening range breakout, I thought this, I thought that, but this is how trading is. There's gonna be because it's math, it's mathematical, the market cycle changes. Sometimes we're in consolidation, sometimes we're breakout. So you have to be mentally prepared to know that you're gonna have potentially five to ten winners in a row, five to ten losers in a row. Okay. So hit me with the three if you guys are following me there. Hit me with the trading wars army also. Right. So generally, you have to that's why you stick at two percent. Because you have to understand if you get five losers in a row, you're gonna lose 10% of your capital. Right. But if you're trading with five or 10% and you get five losers in a row, you're not gonna have an account. Okay. All right. So the next thing we want to do here, guys, is the um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the spy book. Uh, a lot of you have been asking me about it. And we're going to do a full recap from last week on the spy room. I'm going to talk about all the setups. I'm not going to take too long. We're already 30 minutes in. But I just want to show you this, show this with you guys. So here at tradingwars.com, guys, spy options mastery. This is the spy book that I asked you guys if you wanted me to write it. And I got a lot of response, um, a lot of support. So I'm starting to write it. Um, I'm going to show you a sample right now. Okay. So let me take a screenshot of this. Um, so I'm starting to write this spy book. It's going to have everything, all the trading setups, all the guides, everything, what I do on a daily basis. So here's an example of one of the charts that I prepared here. So you could see very detailed explaining the gap up. We're taking the three minute opening range breakout. Here's a spy December 3rd, 2021. This is the put on 930. So this is the 933 bar closes. So this one was actually one we took in the room, 458 puts. Uh, zero days to expiry went from a dollar 45 to 750 and i try to walk you guys through here step by step me and uh uh dairy we're putting these together try to walk you step by step so trying to trying to really give you guys everything you need and it's going to have multiple sections on you know risk management everything i talk about basically it's going to be in that book um so that's what i'm working on guys um so if you guys want uh to join the priority list because i know you guys are actually the ones that are serious what I'm doing here, guys, is I'm doing a priority list, not a not a pre-purchase or anything like that, but a priority list. Anybody that signs up on this form here, guys, they're going to get 10% off the book and they're going to get access to the book before everybody else. I'm going to send it directly with a special link, 10% off, okay? Just got to put your email address and name if you're interested. By all means, guys, if you're not interested, no worries at all. I'm just showing this for the people that, that were interested in the book. So let me just post that in the chat there. That is tradingwars.com slash spy. Just click on that and you guys can sign up, okay? Um, what else? What else? Boom. Sean, what's going on, brother? <coughs> Five dollars. Listen to Rich. It ain't fun on the sideline after a blown account. Thank you, Rich. I'll keep at it. This man is the truth. Please speak on our goals after a blown account. Sean. Thanks, brother, man. That's a great question. So I've blown an account too. You know, like we've all done it. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's a part of learning. Like this is, this is how you learn how to risk manage. You have to, sometimes you have to feel it. Like sometimes you have to, you know, you have to lose to actually understand, okay, I can't do that again. So what you want to do after blowing an account is you just want to come back in slowly. So whatever you were risking before, if you're risking hundred bucks, 200 bucks, you want to try to risk like 10 bucks, 15 bucks. And you can use the micro futures contracts, MES. You can use that to help you because it's, you're only going to risk like, you know, one, maybe two or three points. That's 15 bucks. Okay. Or you can paper trade, but still don't step away from trading because you're going to lose all the progress you made. Don't step away. Keep documenting, keep journaling, keep working at it. Okay. Make sure. So yeah, in the spy room, we do options and shares. We do everything. Okay. All right. Let's do the spy recap right now. Let's talk about it. And um, we're going to go step by step for each one. And then from there, I'm going to talk about the giveaway and the winners. And then 500 likes, 100 comments. That's the goal for the next video, okay? Let's go. So let's start off with Monday. So Monday was the 6th, right? So what we always do, guys, when we're trading is we always want to have the previous days high like this. And the previous day is low like this, always, okay? And I'm going to hit the replay here, and we're going to talk about the trading on Monday. 
I'm also going to pop open the Discord um, to talk to you guys. So this was the sixth. So let's find the sixth. And I can tell you guys, I'll walk you through guys everything. But essentially on Monday, it was an inside open. Um, and with the inside open, guys, it's going to be likely to have some kind of chop. So that's basically what I was looking for. So right here, guys. All right. So let me show you. So this is on the sixth. Good morning. Opening in the middle of the range will pass on the orb for now. So here's the first candle. Boom. So if we just look at this, guys, here's the high and here's the low. So we're in the dead center of the range. You can see this, right? So because of that, I don't want to take an opening range breakout because this to me seems like balance. There's nobody that's really trapped. There's, you know, we're not breaking stop losses just yet. So because of that, I'm looking to actually play a neutral type of trade. I'm not trying to do anything too aggressive. So you can see right here, let me go back to the Discord. So first day of the week, want, the market wants to find direction. So we need to be patient, looking for a dip buy between 454 to 455 to test the waters. I'm using the prior day fib here to look for a dip buy. Trying long here, hard stop. See if I can pick up something on the gap fill. Nice pop, potential, cover more, blah, blah, blah. Great push. Stops at break even, our remainder position, runners left. Boom. And we made money. So now let me show you on the chart. So the first thing that I did was I took a Fibonacci from the previous day's low to the high like this. Okay. And I noticed that we had the gap fill here. So this is an open gap. So I saw that we had this gap fill here, which is close to the 618. So we started pushing lower and then I started adding right here between 453 to 454. I started adding and looking to get in on this gap fill play. Okay. My stop loss, my hard stop loss was below the 786. So we come in here, guys, we tag, we fill this gap, guys. You see, we fill that gap. So that's where I'm adding the majority of my position. And then from there, check this out. Bam. And then check this out. Bam. There we go, guys. Oh, wait. I went all the way back to Friday. Amazing. So, so this was this was the day right here, guys. So from there, we had that pop. And then we retested the previous day's high. And we got faded up just a little bit. So that's what I was expecting. So when we hit the previous day's high or previous day's low, that we're going to have some resistance. But you could see I took that dip by into the gap fill. And then I pushed up. And then you could see right here in the Discord. <coughs> so... Right here, I said, remember, today is an inside open, and we can chop around with the market wants. I'm going to call it here. Had a great trade. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you all so much. So that was it. Like, I didn't want to do anything fancy or anything crazy because I already knew that's an inside open. Had that dip buy, took it up, called it a day. So that was a great, great trade, guys. Um, so hit me with a one if you follow me there, and let's move on to Tuesday, okay? Hit me with a one if you follow me there. So nothing complicated, guys. I have my setups, my systems that I trade, and I, I don't I don't need to complicate stuff. It's it's gonna work or it doesn't work. Everybody, everybody that trades with me, they know what I'm looking for when when I'm in the Discord, and we all know what the setups are. Okay. I talk about all the setups in my book. I don't have to hide anything from anybody. So everybody knows what an opening range breakout is, everybody knows what a previous day range fib is, everybody in my room, because we have that's why they're there. They support my style of trading because I'm not in the business of giving delayed alerts. Like I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm not going to wait five minutes after the stock goes up and then say, oh, yeah, I bought calls at 20 cents when the calls are at 40 cents. I'm not going to do that. That's not that's no integrity. That's zero integrity. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to teach people how to fish. And that is going to be my legacy. And that's all I'm going to do. Brother right here. Ernest, Ernest Crosby with the $5. Thanks for all you do, brother. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. All right. So you're going to see here now the next day. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our lines. We're going to move it up now. Previous day is low. Previous day is high. Okay. <clears throat> so now the first bar comes in. Bam. So this bar was a very important bar. We had a gap up. And you can see we're clearly way above the previous day's high. So right off the bat, guys, I want to take the opening range breakout, the 3, the 5, and the 15 minute. That was it. Those are my setups right there. So let me go on the Discord. Let me show you. So we also had a swing trade that on that gap up, we hit all of our targets with the swing trades. So the swing trades are posted in the swing room, and they're all posted ahead of time. right? So this one was posted back on December fifth and then we took that swing there and, and and it hit the target when we gapped up on this day okay beautiful so now where are we at 
<clears throat> All right, so here we go. Starting off with the three minute here, looking for a break of the bar, let's see. So let's dip our toe in the water. We'll take the orb three, five, and 15 minute chart. Five minute bar closes in one minute, and then right here, long. So that's when I got long, okay? So let me show you guys here, man. This was just a very clean and simple day. Like nothing complicated. Let's go here for the three minute chart. So here was the three minute in um, opening range breakout. You can see we got filled there, guys. We went long. Okay, we pulled back a little bit. So there was a little bit of heat on the trade and then this inside bar came in. So we also called out this inside bar. So anybody that didn't take the orb got in on this inside bar. Now check this out. Bam, 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 paid. Okay, so that was really, really nice. I was done trading pretty much within the first hour. And then after that, I just left some runners on. Let's fast forward. So let me go back to the five. So here we go. <clears throat> so there we go. So all the time frames worked for the opening range breakout. The three minute opening range breakout worked, the five minute opening range breakout worked, and the 15. So some members, what they do is they add on each time frame three, five, 15, bam, bam, bam. And that was really, really good. And like you can see, right, like I'm always telling you, you want to play the morning because the morning will have that big push and then sometimes we go sideways and that's what exactly happened. So you want to play the morning. Morning always has the most volume, all right? Hit me with the four for the four horsemen if you're following me there. Four for the four horsemen. And then we'll continue. So what I'm going to do is I'll move my lines up now, right? So put my line here on the low and my line on the high like this. So you can see that this day was the hardest day of the week, which was Wednesday. I'm going to hit the replay right now. So this one was tough because the range was very, very tight. So let's go through it. So I like to open here. I'm going to try three, five, 15 minute orb. So I decided to play the orb straight up because I knew we were pressing up against this high and I just wanted to take a chance. So let's go here to the three minute chart. First bar comes in. Boom. Okay. We have a doji right there, guys. And then an inside bar. So, and so whenever we have a situation like this, we had an, we had a, a, a big body candle and it doesn't break the opening range. Instead, it goes an inside bar. So what I do instead is I take the inside bar instead of the orb. See that? Money. Beauty. All right, so let me just show you guys that right here. Where are we at? So while we got, so three-minute chart working on an IB right now, some chop here going to cover some on the trigger. Three-minute IB breaking down, cover three-minute IB short, can leave a partial. Uh, have to be quick on this chop on SPY. Yeah, so we, we started getting to chop after that. So <clears throat> we had, um. We had also the trigger, right? So the trigger is an automated order. <clears throat> so let me pull that up. So the trigger day trade. So I have automated trades that I do as well. So automated trades, guys, what they are, are essentially we put them in the night before. So they're automatic. So you don't have to do anything. Okay. So like you just put it, put it in, either hits the target or not. So this was for December 8th. So our long was 467.86. Four sixty four sixty seven eighty six. So what you'll see here, guys, is on the open, we actually got filled on this white line, and I did cover some, um, as I mentioned in the Discord. So sometimes I'm actually long and short at the same time. And the way that I do it is I will mix it up. So sometimes I'll have shares on the long, and I'll have puts on the options, or I'll have future contracts on the options or on the put, sorry, I switch it up depending on what I see. If the spreads are good, if the spreads are bad, I decide which one I want to play. So in a situation like this, the triggers, I always usually do shares because it's the easiest to set up. So we got long on shares. We come up here, inside bar comes. Now we take the puts on the options. So we cover some of the shares and then we try to get it to break even. So the shares, we have a tiny gain, nothing much. And then these puts come through guys and they break down there. Just for a little, like, if you if I put this bar here, you'll see. So the first thing that I did here, guys, with this one is take it to about one-to-one, -one, which is here. And then when we get to one-to-one, -one, scale out, okay? And then another one at 1.5, another one at 2. When I get down here, the stop goes to break even. 
So on this push back up here, guys, the remainder of the position gets nailed for break even. So you still walk away with something. It was very difficult, guys, because like I'll show you here. Let me play out the rest of the day. A lot of chop. Like, sorry, it's over here. So you can see <clears throat> the range was very, very tight. Like this. Boom, 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 boom. And then eventually we had a push into the end of the day. So I try to be, I try to play first hour, two hours, walk away. I have swing trades do their thing. Don't want to make overcomplicate things at all, guys. I really don't want to. All right. So hit me with a five if you're following me there. And then let's move on to Thursday. How do you become a YouTube member? Excellent question, brother. So I'm going to link this right here. So to become a YouTube member, guys, all you have to do is come over here to my channel and just hit. There's going to be a button here that says join. So you just want to go here. Go ahead and press join. OK, thank you, guys. Appreciate that. All right. So let's move on to the next day now. All right. I'm going to pick it up because we're already at 46 minutes. And I know you guys have work tomorrow and all that. And I got I have to manage the room in the morning, too. So let's get this party going. And now here's the previous day's high. Here's the previous day's low. Okay. So same thing here. In this situation, guys, what happened is now we're opening in the middle again. So because we're opening in the middle, I'm taking a Fibonacci from the low to the high here. We have a 618. Look at this 618. One, two, great pops. And then later in the day, we have this 88, this 88690 Fib. Beautiful pop as well. I actually did a very, very detailed recap on this one. There's a lot of fibs going on in here. So I'm not, I can't I can't go through it again. It took me one hour last time to go through these fibs. Um, but we also had on the three-minute chart a beautiful double inside bar, which we took short right here. So this double inside bar, guys, broke down. Boom. Nice little push down. Great winner. Okay. So pretty clean um, on that day. And then the last day was Friday. So on Friday, guys. In the morning, we took the opening range breakout right away because we were above the previous day's high. You can see the opening range breakout on the five minute didn't really give a lot, but the three minute did give enough. So the three minute, we had a pop here and an inside bar pop. So those gave us some good money. And then after that, <clears throat> I pretty much wrapped it up for the day. But right after that, we had this outside bar. Um, I believe I took this one too, and I know a lot of members did. We had a lot of fractals here, guys. Like you can see, these fractals, inside bars, outside bars, all made money. This one was the beauty. I wasn't around to catch this one, but this one was the beauty of the day. This was Friday expiry. If any, I, I think a few people caught this. I can't remember. But taking this inside bar here, boom, boom, beautiful. So I have bots, guys, right? So whenever I'm done trading, my bot will go ahead and call up the, the setups, right? So if I go to the present here, you'll see. <clears throat> so once I'm done trading, the bot will come in here and step up and say the inside bars and the outside bars so that even if you guys still want to trade i want you to follow a systematic i don't want you to just gamble and then here on the 15 minute guy just before i forget i remember now we had a beautiful holy grail right here and a 15 minute in um opening range breakout that paid so this holy grail guys the holy grail i think last week was almost 100 percent win rate very very high i don't know what's going on with the holy grail but it's been killing it and this one on the 15 was a big big winner okay Beautiful. All right. So let's go ahead now and let's do some giveaways and let's wrap up the stream. I want to thank each and every one of you for being here today. I'm very grateful to have your time. I know your time is very valuable. I try my best to make these as in-depth and show, show real trading. I'm not showing trading that came from the 1960s. I'm trying to show what we did last week. Okay. And I'm going to be there on Monday morning again. Okay. So before we do the giveaways, if you want to trade with us, guys, you can sign up at tradingwars.com. Tomorrow I'll be live. Spy Room is only $39 a month, guys. I could easily charge $150 like some other people. You know who they are. But I want to keep it affordable. I don't want to, I don't want to burn anybody's pocket while they're learning. I don't. Okay. And then the stock room, you already know that those are the swing trades and also the stock day trades. Okay. Um so please, guys, I'm going to do the giveaway now. What I want what I want to do is this. Please help me here. At the end of this video, I have a goal. I want to try to get 500 likes and 100 comments. 
And if we can meet these goal guys, I'll do more giveaways. All right. So please help me just take a second and like this video. There's nobody really out there that's trying to do what I'm doing because I'm trying to leave a legacy. I'm trying to, I'm trying to impact humanity. That's the difference. Some people are just trying to make money. Okay. Cause I could easily put this together in some seminar and a hundred people will sign up and pay me a thousand dollars guys. I know that. Okay. But I'm trying to really give to the community. So please help me out with the like. All right. So what I'm going to do here now is we did the give the giveaway. Let me go ahead and get the form. <coughs> um, let's go on Twitter. <clears throat> so right here on Twitter. So this was the form to sign up. Okay. Here's the form to sign up name, email. What's your favorite trading wars video? That's all you have to do. Uh, to sign up and then this is what I what I asked in return for the giveaway guys just subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow my new Twitter channel so these are the other ones that I have double IB and Holy Grail Pro these channels are specifically for like certain patterns this is specifically for the double inside bar so we post double inside bar setups uh, on a daily basis and the other one is specifically for the Holy Grail okay so this is the Holy Grail we have specific Holy Grail setup so please follow these channels guys they're not as big, but they have very valuable setups. I know we did Target last week, and it made a lot of money. Okay, and then enter email. Exactly, and, and, and that's pretty much it. So if you haven't signed up yet, I'm going to link it right now so you can sign up. Okay? Boom. What's going on? R. Kishan Burapati. Welcome, my brother, to Trading Wars Army, brother. Appreciate you. I love the American flag in the background. That's how we do. Guys, let's shout out our brother here. Welcome to the, him to the Trading Wars Army. Hit him with a Trading Wars VIP to show some love for this brother. Thank you, brother, for joining us. Appreciate that. Um, all right. So I'm going to go ahead now, and I'm going to pull up the form, okay? <clears throat> um, Trading Wars Spy Drill Down Book Giveaway. Here we go. And we have 287 responses. I'm going to open it in Excel. Okay. I, I'm not going to show you guys the names and stuff because I have people's names and emails. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a random number generator and we're going to pick someone. So we have 288 people right now. Okay. So, I mean, that's pretty good odds, guys. That's better than playing the lottery, isn't it? I'm telling you, man, come tune into the stream. Better than playing the lottery. <clears throat> All right. So. Let's do random generate random number generator. So we had 200 and let me see. 288. <clears throat> All right. So before we go ahead and pick this number, guys, let's go ahead and get a drum roll, please. Can you guys hit me with a drum roll? If you don't have a drum, that's all good. Hit me with a trading wars army. Hit me with a one. Okay. And I'm going to do one winner today. I'm going to do more winners. Don't worry. I'm going to do them next time um and on different streams we're gonna do it i try to i gotta keep doing giveaways so i can try to keep bringing in more people guys you know how it is out here you gotta try to bring people in sometimes it's hard because you know this whole this whole industry this whole social media is about clickbait and it's about fraud and it's about lying like i, I was on i was on youtube like i have two accounts on youtube i have a premium one where i don't get ads and then i have one where i get ads and the one where i got ads some guy was like um Hey, uh, I just made $80 million trading last year. And I was like, if you made $80 million, then why do you have an ad on, on YouTube? Like no one's making $80 million in trading unless they're a big institution. So you guys know what it is, but you know, some people want to want that. Some people want a Lamborghini. So it is what it is, but here we go. Let's roll it. 158. All right. Oh man, I show you guys. I just showing you guys all my secrets in here, guys. You guys seen all my man. I didn't mean to show you. Guys. Look at my secrets. All right, one fifty eight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say the person's name. I'm gonna say the first name. So the winner is Ratish. R A T E E S H. Ratish. All right, brother. So just DM me on Twitter with your email, and I'll confirm. And then we will go ahead and send you a book and get you one month for free in the room, brother. All right. So go ahead and DM me on Twitter with your email so I can confirm. All right. No, 
no no uh no scams all right guys and then i'll go ahead and get you your stuff all right all right guys that's it man thank you very much very grateful i'll be ready to rock and roll tomorrow first day on monday at some point the volume is going to really dry up because of the holidays so we're going to we're going to have to take it easy at some point but i think on monday we should be able to go ahead and get some some you know some winners um some volume at least some things that we can trade um so thank you very much for your time i'm going to go ahead and post the stock picks for tomorrow and um please do not forget these are two more things that we got to do okay please like the video and i'm trying to get to 100 comments i know we can get it easily but this is the question for the next video so i pretty much went through a lot like i went through the basics of stocks options future i went through trading strategies i went through swing trading strategies i went through risk management position sizing um i don't i have a few more topics in mind but why don't you go ahead and when i end this broadcast here please go ahead and comment is there any other topics you want me to talk about? So whatever you whatever you want me to talk about, comment in the comment section below. I'm going to end the stream here, okay? Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys have made my day. Take care.